guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to go for the first drive in a BMW G82 M4 competition first time I've been let loose in one by myself just bought it for the website lfgains.com which means one of you guys will be winning it this Sunday at 10 o'clock for 199 so yeah we're gonna park the car up, do a little walk around go over a bit of the M4 also this car's running a few modifications then we'll jump in the car and see what she's like to drive so guys enjoy the video Slow me down like speed hump no. Keep up no. when I speed up no. See a future that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane living life fast Here she is lads The G82 M4 competition Finished in sapphire black I think it's an absolute stunning looking car man Obviously a lot of people are hating on the nostrils The grills the Bugs Bunny teeth, whatever you want to call them. Only 15,000 miles on the clock, guys. Really good condition, full service history. Probably about a year ago, this car is worth over 80 grand. And for anyone that's new, this car is on my website, lfgames.com. Somebody will be winning it this Sunday at 10 p.m. for literally 199. And if you do win the car, you can actually take instead 50,000 pounds. So literally, whoever the winner is will transfer that cash straight over to your bank if you are the winner. So anyway, we'll go over a little bit of the car. So it's got the S58, three litre twin turbocharged engine, putting out 510 horsepower. We've not done any crazy mods to it, apart from, as I say, the CSL front grills, the carbon splitter. It's also got the carbon side blades. The wheels are forged from factory. They are staggered, 19 inches up front, 20 inches on the rear. Brand new Pirelli tires. Not, not a huge fan of the Pirelli P0s. You've got to get quite a bit of heat into them before they start working. 8-speed ZF, usually we go dual clutch transmission in M cars. M4 competition kick plates, leather steering wheel. We've now got like a virtual display. The M4 seats, they're huge. These are the other versions. You've got the bucket style, which I think are a, a little bit more. But yeah, we've got a lot going on. We've got some nice carbon fiber, tons of buttons on the wheels. The door cards are nice. The design language has just completely changed, man. We're not really, you know, when I say we, I mean, as a BMW fan, it's kind of strange. This is almost more Mercedes or Audi-like, but it's about time that BMW up the game, man. 20 inches, forged alloys from factory. We've got the M4 competition badge on the rear. Look at this car, man. It's been lowered and spaced, which is why it sits extra aggressive. I personally would go m4 over m3 but anyway that's enough of me waffling let's jump out and see what she's like to drive <laughs> There's a lot of noise coming through the speakers. Interesting. Man, it's fast though, guys. 510 horsepower. I mean, for a factory car. I know it obviously has a lot of power. Jesus. <laughs> Sounds insane. It revs up. It's got the typical M car rev in nature. I don't know what it revs to, actually. I'll have to check that in a sec. Not done a ton of research on this car over the years there's obviously been a lot of negative press because of the grills the looks and obviously they're now even x drive which is crazy in it the times we're we're living in like got four wheel drive turbocharged m cars it's insane it is absolutely insane it goes against everything that we remember bmw <laughs> I mean, for a factory horsepower, it's very fine. It feels every bit 510 horsepower. But yeah, check out the cabin, guys. It's a really nice place to be. I'm gonna have to be quick because the lighting is disappearing very fast. Oh, look, cabin-wise, we've got the leather steering wheel with carbon fiber. 
carbon fiber paddles we've got the m1 and the m2 button so for anyone that's not familiar with m cars usually most m cars uh, have a function where you can customize your own driver mode so you can usually customize damping you can customize the steering feel throttle feel but yeah it's definitely harnessing this power a lot better than the m4 it was a lot spikier i mean don't get me wrong it's a car that things could go very wrong if you're not careful we are driving with traction off right now but i would say less sketchy definitely less sketchy i mean bro like the way look at this look it's what the like yeah, you're gonna have a problem trying to stay with this. I think on this car you can customize the traction control like there's a 10 step traction control system also you can change the brake feel so yeah it's just nuts loads of buttons on the steering wheel you just heard that noise that's because we've got finger gestures so yeah turn back down back down so yeah you've got hand gestures you've got all these buttons down here you can also see more carbon fiber it is a special, special place to be. We've got virtual displays. You can see BMW have definitely switched it up. The whole design language has changed. Gone is the typical analog BMW feel. This feels more like I'm in an RS5 or even like an E63. Steering wise, it's very responsive. I don't know what settings we have it in now. I've not, like, it, honestly, there's so much going on. Like, you know, you go to setup and look, you've got split engine, chassis, steering, brake, M trip, bro. It's, literally going off it but yeah let's flatten the throttle definitely moves around from the rear this is the rear wheel drive version as i would have already mentioned there is an x drive version which will obviously get to 60 a lot faster the races that i've seen on say like car wow i think there's obviously going to be more drivetrain loss in the four wheel drive version so the rear wheel on a rolling race will be a little quicker handling is awesome the way it soaks up the bumps as well it's the first time i've been let loose on one of these by myself by the way arch if you're watching bro the zf just works like any other zf box you flatten it at any point and and there's just power yeah the gear shift sound crazy it's like this i don't even know how to describe the sound Wait, they're soaking up the bumps though. Must have it in like a, a, a comfort setting because there is a little bit of movement as we're traveling at speed, but you know, we have to sacrifice because we're not on a track, are we? Steering is like any, any M car. For those of you that are not aware, I used to own the M4 competition. are good as well <laughs> fucking hell this car's crazy this car's you know what yeah i've driven it a few times but now like obviously because i'm filming i'm trying to you know like discover what the car's like i'm trying to show you guys as well that's when you actually begin to have a bit more of an appreciation for it there is a bit of movement we're running the pirelli p0 tires not my favorites you have to get a bit of heat into them So yeah, HP ZF gearbox is interesting because you don't get that thump. Like it's, I reckon it's more usable. Like daily driving, I think it's a lot easier. I think you've got easier power, uh, but you definitely lose a bit of that fun factor, that sort of racing edge that the M cars usually have. Like the E92 M3s, the F80 Gens. That thump was just so much more engaging. Problem being, it was a little bit more dangerous as well brake i'm liking the brakes like it's making me drive the car harder and have a bit more faith yeah the zf is very very good i mean <laughs> wow 
definitely a big car on the road as well. It's not. I mean, like, would we say the M4 was small, the pre-gen? I mean, fairly compared to the E92. Um, but yeah, 1,800 kilos this car, almost, yeah, like that's, that's a lot of weight, man. I think depending on spec, you can get this up to, yeah, as I say, 1,800 kilos. Um, the F90 M5 was like 1,950. It's definitely not as big from inside the cabin. Visibility is good. It feels kind of round and it does feel a little big. But yeah, look, it's very easy to steer. It's definitely got that M car vibe. Like, obviously, not tons of feedback. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Flat on the throttle, ZF box, immediate power. It feels, bro, sounds bad, but it feels and sounds like an M140. Right, look. Love to see what the difference was with the X drive. It's very, very fast. MDM kicking in. usable power as well i mean we are definitely on the absolute limit which is why bmw are now getting x drive or given x drive options it is awesome that they've actually made two cars and made one specifically rear wheel obviously strange thing is <laughs> it sounds crazy the thing that's always intrigued me is whether if BMW only made a rear wheel drive version, would it have been a better rear wheel drive car? Because this car has obviously had a lot of focus on being X drive, right? But I know people are like, oh, if you want it to be rear wheel drive, just disconnect and you can pull it in rear wheel. But I'm like, bro, it's, it's the whole mindset behind it, isn't it? If it was solely rear wheel drive, you know, the mapping, the tuning may have been different. Who cares anyway? I mean, like the way you can throw it in, the front end is just, yeah, like any other M car, 100%. It's got that razor sharp front end. The rear definitely sticks as well. Yeah, it's weird. Like the way that it slides, it doesn't slide like how the pre-gen used to slide. It's, um, I don't know, it might be, could be gearbox related. I'm not too sure. Or just might be where, I don't know. It's almost like the mapping, it's like it's, the power's being smoothened out. It's like it's not giving me the full unleashed 510 horsepower at any given moment. Like it's almost like as if it dulls it, but it doesn't feel like the car's slowing down. It's just, as I say, if it was giving me the whole throttle, I would be able to continue spinning through. I don't know. Let's go M1. I think that's traction off. So we flatten the throttle. Okay, we're in some sort of manual mode now. Brakes feel good. Got a load of sun. So yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video in a second. Just thought I would take you for a little drive on this week's competition. We are down one of my Jurassic Park lanes right now. Flat on the throttle. <laughs> it just spins up. Remember, one of you guys We'll be winning it for 199. Of course, lfgames.com. Ticket link in the description. Head over to the website and get involved. If you do win this car, you don't actually have to take the car. You can actually take 50,000 pound cash instead. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it as that people. See you in a bit.